big game at the race course ground. Wrexham chasing the playoffs. Cheltenham Town looking for a quick return to the Football League. And the game hasn't disappointed and were only in the first half. Absolutely brilliant game. Cheltenham started out of the blocks. Quick, sharp, looked like they were going to have this game. And it was a brilliant pass play. Proper beautiful pass. Nice and weighted. I think it was the Carriston. If I got his name right. But fortunately, he blasted the ball straight to the cop. And... Yeah, Cheltenham looked like they were on top. Then Wrexham got into the game. And then it was a brilliant ball played in to Evans. And somehow he's put the ball out for a throw in when it looked like he was going to nicely curl it in. It was a brilliant passing from Jennings. Then the goal. Straight down there, right down the left. The ball comes in. Simon is like... Sm hit it uh, hit it nicely, nicely. Looks like he scored, but it was Vidal who got the vital touch to make it 1-0 to Exum. The former Man City trainee. And it's 1-0 to Exum. Looked like it was a magnificent goal from his lop. But on the replay, you can see as it just deflects off Vidal and he gets the goal. 1-0 to Wrexham. Could have been 2-0 to Wrexham. But Wrexham missed two brilliant chances. First from Jackson. Sort of a good save, I suppose. As the ball comes up, it's played back in. And Jennings has a chance. But he blasts straight over the, po over the post. Whew. Then it was Wrexham. Then, of course, Cheltenham at their chances. Cameron missed a chance. Looked like he had scored, but somehow he put the ball wide. And then Cheltenham get a free kick. Oh, my word. James Dayton steps up. I actually thought he was going to score. And my word, what a goal. What a free kick. Beautifully curls it into the top corner. Precision technique. You know, this was... Any of the top leagues, wow, it'd be, be all over YouTube now. Everybody be talking about this free kick. Is the conference won't get much mention, but I'm mentioning it. And it was, for me, close off the world class goal. The way the ball just whips around, beautifully nestles into the top corner. I'll tell you something, no top goalkeeper would have saved that. And so it's 1 1 as we go into half time. Looks like Gary Johnson has now got Johnson to get, put his team talking. Remind him that Forest Green dropped points at Bromley right at the last minute. So Cheltenham looking for a quick return to the Football League. And Wrexham hoping to make the playoffs. This is the first half. I think the second half is going to be even better. Anyway, it's time... To see an amazing second half, and I don't think I'll be disappointed. Ooh, late drama there at the race course. Majority of the game uh, wasn't great that second half, was it? But you know, the work rate was there from both sets of players. I thought Newington for Wrexham up and down the pitch on the left, he was fantastic. My man, the match. Ooh, was he crucial? Uh, chances before the drama. Nah, got nothing there. A few bookings. Wrexham had two good chances that weren't taken. Jackson on the left. What was it? Now on the right. So on the right, puts the ball in. No one there attacking the ball. Could have been a goal if somebody would have attacked it, but no one attacked it. And there was a one-on-one -on -one where the Wrexham player looked like to score. But Jonathan Flats... I know from Wolverhampton Wanderers came out and made a good save. Then to the drama. First to Cheltenham. Now, bad defending. The two full, the two defenders get in each other's way. Holman looks to have scored. Taylor parries it. He's going into the bottom corner. But there was the man, the match. New in turn for Wrexham to clear it off the line. And how crucial was that? Then at the other end, Wrexham score. 
poor defending from um, Cheltenham, no doubt about it. And there was a substitute, York. Where's York? The score the winner for Wrexham to put them closer to the playoffs and have Forest Green Rovers now two points behind Cheltenham. It's all open at the top. Who's going to get promotion to the Football League? Wow. Now that's how you end the game. Pure drama. So the next game, I said, will be on Friday night between Cheltenham and Grimsby at Wadden Road, which Forest Green Rovers fans will be watching in they play on Saturday. Breathtaking last form is right at the death. Wow. I'm sure if anyone who was watching that game felt that the neutrals, the Forest Green Rover supporters, the Cheltenham fans at the ground, the Wrexham fans. Wow. Anyway, that's the match report over and done with. Let's get let's get to Millwall Burton. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.